welcome head coach Kyle Lightburn from Team Bermuda. If you have any questions, please raise your virtual hand and I'll give you the floor. Michelle Kaufman, go ahead. Hi, Coach. Um, I'm just wondering if you can talk about the Haiti team and what makes them uh, such a big challenge and, you know, how do you think they'll do going forward? They play the United States on Sunday. Yeah, I, I mean, Haiti is a good team. We know that. Um, though we were sloppy today defensively and they punished us. Um, I think the first the first three goals come from and we held possession high up the pitch and they hit us on the break and uh yeah disappointing with that and we have the first chance of the game and don't take it so yeah we knew it was going to be difficult we had to take our chances so we had the first chance of the first half first chance of the second half and didn't take it and and Haiti just you know they're a powerful team for us very powerful but just didn't happen tonight for us Errol Basden you have the floor uh, coach, obviously a little disappointing, um, but what do you take out of this? I know we, we still have quite a bit of uh, football to play. What, what do we take out of this going forward? Yeah, we, we take a lot of heart out of this. Um, you know, we were up against a good team tonight. They they, they played well. They were better than us uh, in front of girl. Maybe we should have saved a couple girls from the other game, but... <laughs> We, we, um, like I said, no, we had the first chance of the game. And I said, let's make sure we get the first chance of the game. They had one soon afterwards that they all saved. And, you know, we're, we're got possession, just the final ball, and they break on us on a couple of occasions. And, and they, you know, they, they take the game away from us. We make a heart, make a couple subs at halftime, try to shake it up, not because of guys' performances, but just – um to try to get ourselves back in the game, you know, we're down. So um, it was a little bit too long be before we scored, so we couldn't really rally and, and try to get back into the game. And, and credit to, to Haiti, they were good on the night. Gabby Joseph. Good afternoon, Coach. This is Gabby Joseph from Toro Mix, the Haitian Sport Network. Uh, and recent comment, you said uh, you're going to get your revenge from 2019. Uh, by beat the U for one, uh, you can't say Haiti it's better than you or it was a mistake uh, from 2019? Another mistake. Haiti were the better team tonight and we held our hands up. Of course, we wanted to beat you, um, but it didn't happen. Um, and... I think my team could play better, but you guys beat us on the night. I'm not um, going to hold. We, we still owe you something. That means that we owe you two games now. So no problem. Um, but we're going to keep fighting. You know, we're not going away. We'll take one last question. Earl Basden, you have the floor. Coach, um, getting that girl back. How much of a spirit did it lift the team? Although you looked at the clock, I mean, it was only 11 minutes left on the clock. But how much did it lift the spirit of the team knowing that uh, you can score again on Haiti? Yeah, I mean, it did lift us a little bit. We needed to get another one right afterwards. And it could have been, you know what it's like when a team's got a lead and it's comfortable for them and, and a team scores on them. But we just never managed to get that 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 second goal. You know, we had opportunities. You know, Naki dragged one wide. I think um, Cole hit it straight at the goalkeeper. You know, but we're we're clutching at straws in the end. And and credit to Haiti. So I have no no complaints. Uh, you know, I just wish we could have defended a little better on on those three goals for us. Yeah. 